Modeling is a career known by few people. It is a profession where you are tied up with looks. But to gather more insight, I met a fascinated young model who doubles up as a blogger and a vlogger. Sharon Madonna is a 21 year old. She is a model, she is a blogger, she is a vlogger, and also a guitarist. But uh, with guitaring, um, I've been training for some time, but I'm not good yet. I'm still undergoing training. Mm -hmm. God, I've always wanted to be a journalist so bad, but uh, when I, I applied for journalism, but I did not qualify. So I did public relations instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is more or less of journalism. Modeling, um, I'm, I'm a fan of fashion and Tyra Banks, of course. Uh, so after high school still, I just thought, why not? You know, you're young and you, you can't just be idle. You should do something, you know. So I decided, why not get into the fashion industry? Sharon talks of her tireless attempts to get into the modeling industry through several auditions that bore her no fruits. I've gone for many auditions and it's so sad because when you go to auditions, you get that the models that are selected mostly are light-skinned. And the modeling <clears throat> industry just takes passion and hard work and persistence because personally, before we started the Concept World Modeling Agency, I'd gone for so many auditions and I was never selected. I was just like, you know what, I'm done. But my siblings told me, instead of, of you quitting modeling, since you've gone for so many auditions and you've never been selected, why not uh, form your own agency? And then that's where the agency came, came about. So my siblings and I are the owners of Conceptual Modeling Agency. Conceptual Modeling Agency deals with models, of course, we deal with photography as well and event money, events. Despite her drive in modeling, she draws her motivation and inspiration from her renounced model, Tyra Banks. I like her drive. She's self-driven and she knows what she wants and she goes for it. Because, she's yes, she's a retired model, but she still runs uh, America's Next Top Model and a couple of businesses. So as a woman <laughs> and as a young person, uh, I'm all about the business and all about being successful. And also her sister Sydney, who praised her hard work. I've known Madonna for quite some time. Basically, she's my sister. Uh, she's a very outgoing person. She's more talkative than I am. Wow. Uh, basically, she's kind. She's a go-getter and she knows what she wants and she doesn't give up until, un until she gets what she wants. Mm -hmm. Yes, and when it comes to modeling, she's come from far. She, uh, I can say that she's a very disciplined model because basically in the fashion industry it takes discipline and obedience. Sharon banks on creativity to stay up in the fashion industry. Creativity is key in modeling because you have to be creative to stand out. So if you're a model and you lack creativity, you will slack when it comes to competition. So creativity is in the sense that you have to be creative with, with regards to what you wear, how you present yourself the events you participate in. Basically, when you're a mo modeling is a lifestyle. I'm always telling my sister, when you're a model, it's a lifestyle. So you have to be creative 24 seven. Saying that the 844 system is to blame for increased youth unemployment. I only apply like, I think 10%. Like I think only campus maybe helped me because of I, I studied public relations and I feel like it's the only thing that's helping me because all the other things are just irrelevant. And I feel like if that continues, like many people will be unemployed and they won't even find the joy of studying. On the other end, she tries to solve unemployment problems in our country, even though they are facing challenges. Most youths, is, they aim for white collar jobs and all that. As, as a youth, I think other than being employed in a company or something, you can get your passion and chase it. I have friends who are in the entertainment industry, although it's not going as good, but they're really trying. So I think the youths just have to figure it out in any way possible that they can. We also try and get jobs for them, although the industry is tough, I wouldn't lie. We try and get jobs for them from uh, other events organizers, other Brand. Sharon, however, spares her time for a word of advice to the youths. 
You have to go for it if you want it. Uh, you just have to love yourself first of all because there's so much disc discrimination in the modeling and fashion industry. So you just have to love yourself first before you can go out there and claim you want to be a model. I can tell the people out there that uh, if you have a dream, go for it. Do not wait until the time is ready. There's never a right time to chase after your dreams. So if you have a dream, uh, wake up and go after it. The two sisters clarify the misconceptions that are associated with modeling. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. As long as you know your body. When, when you're a model, you just need to know your body, your type of body. Uh, there's some people who can eat a lot and never get big. Or, yes. <laughs> and then there's some people, even if they eat kidogo amounts, they'll get big. So, so you just need to know your body type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, does it have to na wanaolewa kwanza? Wanaolewa hiyo conception is Of course. Of course. A anyone mm -hmm. is eligible for marriage. Mm -hmm. Anyone at a model. Mm -hmm. Then kuna pia another what we say for models they are loose. They are, they are they don't have morals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the models have interacted with new wongo because mm -hmm. the people I work with they are very respectable, they are obedient to their parents and other people. So easy beliefs, easy misconceptions, mm -hmm. zingine ni uongo kakasifu.